Deputy Mary Lou MacDonald. Deputy, we just settle down, settle down. I call Deputy Mary Lou MacDonald. Thank you. I don't see you at Mary Lou MacDonald. Deputy MacDonald, without interruption, please. Thank you. Of course, it's not just uh, older citizens that have been targeted in yesterday's budget. Uh, yesterday, young people took a very significant uh, hit and got a very clear message from this government. Since 2011, Taoiseach, when you took office, there are 18,000 le less young people working in our economy. Approximately 1,700 people emigrate from this state every week. Shocking statistic. And the vast majority of them are young, they're educated, and they leave because they've no prospect of decent work here. I think that those young people, the under 25s, their mothers, their fathers, their grandparents, people throughout the state watched yesterday hoping against hope that your government would provide something for them, for their children, for their grandchildren, that would mean that they would not be forced to join the lengthening emigration trail at our airports. But what did you do? You announced a range of brutal measures aimed specifically at the youth of this state, none more startling than the slashing of the job seekers allowance for under 25s. And you've now very clearly decided that the youth of Ireland will carry the can for the mistakes of this government and of the last. Having failed to create the environment in which our young people can flourish, you now want rid of them. And emigration is now the official policy, employment policy, for young people coming from this government. A cut of up to a third to job seekers for people under 25s sends an unmistakable message to young people that this government regards them not as the future of this country, but rather as a burden. I question, Taoiseach, the legality of such a brazenly discriminatory measure. I presume that you've had legal advice as, as to its legality. You might clarify that. But above all, uh, Taoiseach, can you just come clean this morning Thank you. and say what is very obvious to all of us, to young people, to their families and to their communities, that just like Fianna Fáil before you, a policy of forced emigration is your policy of choice for our young people. Thank you, Deputy. Well, I don't accept your assertion at all, Deputy MacDonald. I heard you this morning being uh, questioned on this yourself, and when you were asked what you would do, you gave no answer, other than Sinn Féin policy of Sinn Féin promotion. Now, I regard the young people of this country as being, as same as everybody else does, our future. But you seem to want to confine them to the dole queues. You don't actually want to give them the opportunity to get off those live registered dole queues, to have the opportunity to get training, to have the opportunity to get mentoring, to have the opportunity to go and do further education, to have the opportunity to go and be able to find uh, a job and an opportunity where there's an incentive for them to actually do that. An incentive, Deputy, Deputy McDonald. But don't accept your assertion at all in this. Clearly, uh, there has to be, a, 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 in reforming the social protection system, there has to be a difference between those who have the motivation and the incentive to go to work and get a job and better themselves. There are now so many opportunities being provided by this government and by a range of ministries to help young people uh, to actually improve themselves. So the, the, the allocation in Northern Ireland, I understand, is about 65 euro for an under 25, which is 144 down here. And if a, if a young person Deputy MacDonald, now goes on a training course, or now goes into a back to education allowance scheme, or is a graduate and gets on the, on the job bridge scheme, the allocation goes to 160 or over 200 depending on the subsidy that's involved here. So clearly there are opportunities and incentives for young people, young men and young women, to get out there and avail of these opportunities. And it's the challenge of government and its agencies to provide that, for instance. For example, people under, young people under 26 who 
participate now in a back to education course will have their job seekers allowance increased to 160 per week. That means that in, in, in addition to the to sort of the enhanced career and job uh, prospects from improving skills and education levels, there's a huge financial incentive for those young people whom you know and whom I know to participate in education and in employment or training. A budget 2014 has also allocated an additional 14 million euro to increase the number of places for young people. For example, specifically, 1,500 new places on the Jobs Plus scheme and amending the criteria for under 25s to only six months being unemployed to become eligible and 1,500 job bridge places for those under 25. And there are a minimum of 2,000 places ring-fenced for the under 25s who are out of work in 2014 at a cost of 6 million. And these places will be provided uh, under a follow-up to the Momentum programme which has been very successful in, um, in 2013. So next year, the Department of Social Protection with Minister, uh, Minister Burton will spend 1.08 billion euro 1.08 billion on work, on training, on education places, and on related supports for young people and for job seekers. Thank you. And that's an increase of 85 million euro, Deputy MacDonald, on the projected spend this year. So what we want to see here is a real drive to incentivize and motivate young people to take a back to education course, take a training, take a mentoring, take one of the schemes for which places have been reserved for young people and allow them the opportunity uh, to, as as it were, fulfil their potential and lead on to the world of work where their work is rewarded, instead of languishing in a dispirited, disappointed fashion on the door queues. That's not what this government is about. This budget is about bailout exit in December and about providing jobs and opportunities for young people to work, which the vast, vast majority of them want to do. Thank you. Deputy MacDonald, one minute. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you clarified the fact that you recognise that young people want to work because the rhetoric from your government has consistently been to say either openly or to insinuate that young people choose social welfare as a lifestyle choice, that there's some kind of a, a layabout uh, generation. They're nothing of the sort. Yes, they want to work. Where, where, where are the jobs for them? Where are the jobs, where are the jobs for our young people? The disgrace in all of this is that you as a government would have the brazen hard neck to lay at the feet of our young people your failure, your failure to provide opportunities. And you see half-baked Mickey Mouse schemes that you come up with to massage the live register figures. They won't cut it, Taoiseach. People want real jobs and decent work. The only thing that your budget achieved yesterday is to take 32 million out of the pockets of people under 25 on jobs seekers who want to work, who can't find work. But you didn't stop at that. You've cut funding to third level education. You've whacked up the registration fee for third level students again. You've taken money from young people on false courses. You've hit apprentices now and insist that they pay a registration fee. So please spare me your waffle and your baloney about your concern for our young people. I tell you what you have incentivised. You have made it clear to people now, to our young people, that it's time to pack their bags, it's time to leave, because this government has failed them, will fail them, sees them as a burden. And if I'm wrong, Taoiseach, if by chance I'm wrong, then can I put it to you, prove me wrong, and reverse the cut specifically to job seekers' allowances. Prove that I'm wrong and make that decision and announce it here in the Dáil this morning. Thank you. Well, it's a good flow of rhetoric, so I'll prove you wrong. Um, for, for the three years prior to this government being elected, we lost 250,000 jobs. That's a quarter of a million jobs in three years, or 7,000 a month. Now, the economic mess that was left behind by Fianna Fáil um, over many years has had to be cleared up and we stabilised that and we're now creating 3,000 jobs a month. That's 
progress. It's not where we want to be. That's the first thing. The second thing, Deputy MacDonald, and you, you look at the figures yourself, the, the live register has declined now for 15 consecutive months, and the unemployment rate is down from 15.5 to 13.5. And we are creating, we are creating jobs for young people. And if you say, if you say that the job bridge scheme for young graduates is a Mickey Mouse operation, then you should go and speak to people from every constituency, young graduates, confined to the dole queues, but because we reform the system, they get an opportunity to go into the world of work. And I might say to you that over 65% of those who go on a job bridge scheme find full employment as a consequence. And if you think that's a Mickey Mouse operation, then go and speak to those young people. How dare you insult their intelligence? Thank you. How dare you insult their motivation? How dare you insult their right, their right, their right to go and have a job? How dare you with your Sinn Féin antics? of wanting to confine our young people to toll queues in perpetuity. Give them taxpayers' money, give them tax and confine them to the toll queues. What we've done here, what we've done here in the last 12 months has been to create 34,000 new jobs. Many of those are young people, young men and young women, and we want to increase that. Minister Bruton set out his target for next year of 50,000 new jobs. Many of those will be young people. We're very proud of them. But how dare you get up in the House of Parliament and insult our young people to say that they're involved in Mickey Mouse schemes when clearly they lead on to opportunity and employment, which is what you should be, what you should be putting forward. Not one constructive suggestion from you. Not one. Deputy Donnelly, please. Thank you. Deputy. Deputy Doherty, would you please so respect Deputy Doherty? Deputy Doherty. Deputy Doherty, you leave the house if you're not careful. I call Deputy Donnelly. Now, would you stay quiet, please? Please stay quiet. Deputy Bannon. Deputy Bannon, will you stay quiet, please? I call Deputy Donnelly. Thank you.